Hey guys, it's Lena from the Land of Gods and I am back. Back from a rather long break. I'm so happy that I took it and I'm happier that I'm back back to you guys, back to my cards, back to the readings. This one is for the sign of Capricorn, Sun Moon Rising and Venus for the first week of August 1st till the 7th. Guys, please remember these are general readings, times fluid and energies can be reversed so take what resonates leave the rest for others okay okay if we can't we need to do some shuffling here i feel the energy kind of stuck kind of stuck do you feel kind of stuck well that's been the theme for virgos not really stuck but being in a situation they don't want to be you seem to be stuck in a situation the energy seems kind of stuffy, like a stuffy nose, yeah. Oh, yeah. One more shuffle and we shall be ready. We're going to look into the challenge that might present itself, which already feels in some way a bit. The advice from the universe and the possible outcome if the advice is followed okay now we are ready now we are let us look into that of course we're going to clarify all the energies that pop out and wrap up the reading with an oracle guidance message spirit what's the challenge that is going to present itself for my capricorns this week first till the 7th of august challenge for okay here is the challenge queen of earth that's not you feeling okay in your skin or okay in the situation as i said stuck not grounded not being poised or kind of steady in your approach this could also be someone facing some kind of financial hardship i hear not for many this is but let us get you an advice for this what's the advice for okay right here's the advice hierophant and patience whatever this is whatever this hardship is whatever the situation is that is kind of getting you out of your comfort zone i hear getting you a little agitated as well you're not as calm as as poised as you would wish to be or generally that you are you're told deal with the situation with patience and give it time there is a lot of learning coming out of it you might as well want to approach someone that is in your advisory board i hear <laughs> so yeah keep your friends close people keep your friends close and if you do that deal with this patiently giving yourself time to figure out what the learning is in this whatever this feeling of being stuck is there need to be a lot of patience that need to come along i see 14 there four plus one five and five here again hmm what is the possible outcome that might happen if the advice is taken there you go seven of earth six of air look peace is coming in S star wow lovely and three of earth yeah look this is that advisory board that i feel three of earth is all about working together with people getting the advice that you need king of fire there is something that we need to you know work on with a certain level of confidence we feel stuck there is some energy here whose energy is it i don't know but there is some energy that 
makes you feel really really stuck like uh, the situation is not a nice one to be in but look we have hierophant and star coming in with that advisory board or the learning that needs to come along with this and this is not a weekly capricorn i feel with patients coming in here the situation demands time to unblock unravel i hear or kind of get sorted and you need to stay on the path determined like that king of fire you'll be able to work it out towards your peaceful grounds you're going to be able to work out with people you would be yeah let us see queen of earth standing in the challenge why do we have the queen of earth standing in the challenge there is some sort of restlessness that is coming along with the sense of being in a situation ten of pentacles look i'm telling you this is something about money for someone this could be financial issue of sorts going on not necessarily you know a financial struggle but this has got something moving around money for someone a sudden expense that's come up or something that is kind of pushing you out of the budget but it's unavoidable kind of a thing for a few as i said this is that but mostly it's that sense of being stuck look chariot is coming into the challenge i felt this sense of feeling stuck while i was shuffling i'm not surprised that chariot has come in as a challenge you're trying to move away from whatever this constraint is and whatever the situation is that is giving you this very restless energy you want to get out of it you are told you can't if you are just going to be you know so uppity about it like get out of it without resolving it or giving it time and learning through whatever this hardship is you are not going to be able to come out of it so take your time take your time be patient with yourself a lot of patience is needed there is a need to be mindful not to take any extreme steps i hear moderation is required to avoid adversities ooh oh that's intense okay patience and hierophant in the advice spirit patience and hierophant please okay let us see what we've got look temperance in the world my god you have four major arcanas just in the advice as i said if you're gonna rush you're gonna you know tip yourself off you're going to go off balance whatever this world is going to come crashing down so you need to have the patience to deal with this rather sticky situation there is a big learning coming out of it there is a need to have a balanced approach clearly you're feeling off balance well if you are going to take an important call while being off balance the decision in itself is not going to be a balanced one and as i said i don't feel this is a weekly thing this energy is being picked up by me this week but it seems like this energy has been going on for a while it might go on for a while there is a big learning coming out of it there is clearly a very very big learning coming out of it which is going to give you a sense of peace that you have not felt for a very long time a sense of purpose as well 
Yeah, look. Star, seven of earth, six of airs, three of earth. Queen of cups right here with the star. And a knight of swords. Look, as soon as it is time. And remember, divine timing does not work like our timing. As soon as it's time, the energy is going to move in the direction wherein you would feel that you are purposely being driven towards. That is what we need to figure out. Because at this point in time, we are just trying to push ourselves just to gain that sense that we are not feeling stuck. But you're not going to be able to move that chariot unless the learning comes your way. And there is clearly a new energy waiting for you with that world card. But you are not yet ready. Once you are, look, star coming in, that's hope coming in. That's divine blessings coming in. That's peace coming in with that six of air. Whatever the situation is, you're going to be able to sail through this towards your calmer waters. Okay? You are. Let us get you an oracle guidance to wrap up this reading. Yeah, what is it with earth signs? This feels like very shaky grounds. Very shaky grounds, earth signs. Virgo was on similar lines. Feeling pushed, feeling, you know, dragged into something which you don't want. And here you are being held into something that you do not want. Yeah. They were being pulled in. You are being held hostage <laughs> in some ways, I feel. Look, Cornucopia. Wow. With star card coming in. And happy family. Oh, Yes. Whatever this hardship is, my love. Especially for those who are right now in a financial tight situation. Look how beautiful it is. Family support is coming your way. We have Carnacopia coming in. That's like your cup being full and runneth over. That's like, you know, having more and enough to share with so many and feeling like, wow, we have master number 11 right here. I'm going to read first Carnacopia, I'm told, and then happy family. Seems like once you are getting towards your karma waters, energies are moving towards that purpose that's going to bring in this overflow of goodness an abundant harvest and great blessings are awaiting for you with this star and the world coming in i feel like there is a new world that is gonna come to you if you allow yourself to learn whatever needs to be learned from this tough situation. So the mindfulness that is missing in the situation, in the scene right now, we need to bring that back in. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This carnacopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all the above when you receive cornucopia upright you know that you have done important work and it's about to pay off that is the work the learning the balance all of that that you need to work upon to get to this new world that has so many blessings awaiting you the seed you have planted in your energy and in your life are ready to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now. And spirit is applauding all your effort. Yeah, some people I feel are in that process of planting your seeds right now. That's the tough part going on for a few. But see what's awaiting happy family let's read that that's gonna lead to a lot of happy times you know finally feeling the joy 
finally feeling that sense of relief that this hardship is over. The rainbow over this happy family portends a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available, so don't overlook the fun and frivolity that a friend or family experience can bring. The value that you find in a truly loving relative or friend brings a higher vibration to your life force. You may be distracted or busy, but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you are single, finding this card in your spread could indicate a potential meeting or perhaps relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage. This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny. This card may also simply signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, an anniversary, or birthday party. So enjoy, yeah. Even during the tough times, you are allowed to celebrate life. So do that. Keep that in mind. Be mindful about this, my dear Capricorns. And on that note, I'm going to take your leave. Thank you so very much for joining me this week. It's a wrap. Namaste from the land of gods.